What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan and today I got another game stage and video for you guys. So let's jump into it. Okay guys, so here we are in Logic Pro X. And the thing we're going to gain stage today is we have our bass guitar, our first bass track, our second piano track, and a synth pad. So those are the tracks we're going to gain stage today. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys how to actually use gain stage right here on the side. So today, I'm going to show you a different way. And the way I'm going to show you today is using a gain stage plugin that comes with Logic. So what we're going to do is we are going to come over here to audio tracks and what we're going to do is find our gain plugin. So it's under utilities. So go to utilities and then go over to gain. Now this is our gain plugin. So all you have to do is put this plugin on your track and gain stage it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So let's jump into it. Okay, guys. So the first thing you want to do now that you have your game stage and plugin open is you have your knob here. Now, the knob is your volume, your game knob. Now, like I talked about in the last video, game staging is all about controlling those sound waves on your tracks to balance them out before you go into the fader mixing part. So what you want to do is I'm just going to solo all of these tracks that we're going to gain stage today so that we can get a nice tight mix. Now, like I said before in my older videos, is to never mix in solo because you don't know if all of the frequencies, all the EQ that you use are going to be sitting in the right places. But I'm just doing a tutorial for you guys, so I'm going to do this today. So we have our game plug in here. I'm going to play the track, and I'm going to start game staging, and then I'll show you and explain to you what I did. Here we go. Okay guys, so let me explain to you what I did here for the game staging. Pretty much what I did is on our bass guitar here, I took our game plug in here and I turned it up about 4 dB. Now, turning it up to about 4 dB, the key to game staging a bass guitar is that you want to balance it out to the kick drum so that the bass guitar and the kick drum have a nice tight locked in texture. So you want to make sure that the kick drum and the bass guitar are hidden at the same time so that the kick drum pushes that bass note out. So that so with 
gain staging, you're pretty much what you're doing is you're allowing the kick drum to push that note out, bass note out, so that you can take gain staging and balance the two together. So that's what you want. It's a nice kick drum, a nice bass guitar balanced together so that the kick drum pushes the bass note out to get a nice tight low end. That is that's exactly what you want. So now what we have is our piano track. Now our piano track here, what I did is I boosted it about 4 dB and then what I did is I balanced it out about 6 so that all the sound waves in that piano track are nice and balanced. Then what I did is I moved to my synth pad and the thing about a synth pad is the synth pad is a texture piece in the background of the mix. So it's just literally filling in those gaps so that your mix is nice and solid, fat, and there's no empty gaps that you don't have to worry about. What I did is I turned it down to about 8 dB, negative 8 dB. Now, the reason I turned it down is because it's a texture piece. Texture pieces aren't above the mix. They're below. They sit behind everything so they fill out the mix. Then I balanced it about 4.5 dB. So really, all of my tracks, I just balanced them out and made them sound great. And guys, before we end the video today, I have a quick announcement for you guys. Coming up, I have some looper pedal videos coming up. I just ordered a new looper pedal for all my instruments, so make sure you have subscribe on and make sure you have post notifications on. And if you enjoyed this video today, hit that like button because I have tons of cool videos coming up for you guys an unboxing video and all kinds of recorded videos. So make sure you subscribe and have post notifications on so that you don't miss a thing. And if you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below so that you never miss a thing on my channel so you guys can get awesome mixes. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support. You guys are amazing. Keep making great music and I hope you learned a lot about using the gain plugin inside of Logic to control those sound waves. Thank you for watching. Keep making great music and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys then.